Welcome to Fantasy Grounds Quick. In this video, we're going to go over how to run Combat in Fantasy Grounds Unity. To run Combat, you'll need space for two windows. The first is the image window with your map. The second is the Combat Tracker. You can access the Combat Tracker under the Tools folder in the sidebar by clicking on the Two Sword icon. The Combat Tracker is your central command for running combat encounters in Fantasy Grounds Unity. If your combat tracker is blank, we will need to add enemies and player characters. To add a player character, simply drag their portrait in the top left of Fantasy Grounds into the combat tracker. To add NPCs, open the encounter you want to run, then click on the Add to Tracker button. You can also add NPCs directly from the NPC list by opening the campaign folder in the sidebar, clicking on the NPCs, and finding exactly what NPC you want to add. Once an NPC or player character has been added to the tracker, simply drag and drop their token onto the map from the combat tracker. Once you've added your player's character tokens to the map, share the map with them by right-clicking anywhere on the image window and then selecting Sharing, and then Share Record from the radial menu. Let's take a look at the player view. When you share any type of record, whether it's an item, image, stat block, or note, it'll automatically open that window on the player's screen. Once you share a record, the player will be able to see the image when they look at their image's window. You can always unshare a record with a player by right-clicking the image, selecting Stop Sharing. Okay, your player can see their character on the map, but there are no enemies. Fantasy Grounds automatically hides NPCs with a hostile faction selected. In our GM client, let's reveal to our players the enemy tokens on the map by clicking the eye icon in the top left of the combat tracker. In addition to placing tokens on the map, the combat tracker has a variety of helpful features. Let's take a look at them from left to right. First, you can swap out the tokens and rename any stat block. You can set the individual initiative of the creature. Next, you can see its maximum hit points, any temporary HP it might have, along with any wounds it's accumulated. Here, we can assign the creature a faction. Is this creature friendly, neutral, or hostile? These next five icons will open various menus in the combat tracker. The target shows you what the creature is currently targeting. We can also set targets of the creature by dragging the target button onto whatever creature we want to target. The square shows the number of spaces it occupies as well as its natural reach. The sword opens the offense menu, where you can easily access its attacks and damage. The shield shows the basic attributes and any defenses the creature might have. And finally, the person icon shows any status effects or conditions currently affecting the creature. At the far end of the item entry is the record link that will either open the character sheet or NPC stat block for the creature. Great, now that we have an understanding of the layout, let's take a look at the action buttons at the bottom of the combat tracker. Let's start with the menu button. Clicking on the menu button will open a radial menu. There are five main options, initiative, rest, close window, delete from tracker, and delete effect. Left clicking on the initiative button opens the initiative sub menu. Here, you can roll initiative for some or all of the creatures or clear all initiatives. Whenever you first add an NPC onto the combat tracker, Fantasy Grounds will automatically roll initiative for that creature. Back into the menu, if you open the rest submenu, there's two options for short rest and long rest. Resting ends combat, clearing out the initiative, and giving NPCs and player characters their hit points back. Delete from tracker allows you to delete different types of enemies based on their factions. All right, let's roll initiative.
Now that we have our initiative rolled for our NPCs, let's let our players know to roll initiative from their character sheets. Once all initiatives are rolled, we can begin by clicking on the Next Actor button at the bottom left of the combat tracker. When the combat tracker selects an NPC, it shows a condensed version of their stat block. You can use rolls directly from the combat tracker, or you can open their full stat block and roll from there. Once the creature has finished their turn, Click on the Next Actor button again. Let's go ahead and drag this Next Actor button down to our hotbar. Each hotbar slot corresponds to a numbered function key at the top row of your keyboard. If your keyboard doesn't have a function key, you can always hold the FN button and then press the number that matches with the slot. Once you get to the bottom of initiative, it will loop back to the top and the round will update. Congratulations! You are running combat in Fantasy Grounds. From here, you can select targets, roll damage, and add effects to creatures. Please remember that all your dice results and initiative messages are hidden from the players by default. However, any damage you roll will automatically be taken from a player's characters. If you want to change the options of what messages and dice rolls are visible to the players, you can check out the campaign options, which we will discuss in the next video.